Hello everyone and happy Friday. This is Deborah, and I'm so happy to have you stop by Cottage to Courtyard and see what's new. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how I refreshed some pillow covers that I made last year out of two Hobby Lobby pillow covers by further customizing them and giving them a bit more fall color. And then I'm going to share a small haul with you of things from Ross and Hobby Lobby. So let's get started. Here I'm showing you the two pillow covers from Hobby Lobby that I purchased last year at 40% off. They were pretty, but just very basic and plain. So when I saw them, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. And so I set about selecting fabrics and designing them and I came up with something fun. Okay guys, here I'm showing you the neutral plaid background fabric that I chose to make the small Hobby Lobby pillow covers which were 17 inches by 17 inches square, a bit larger, and customize them by adding a neutral cream ruffle all the way around and making them a finished size of 26 inches by 26 inches. What a difference. And the B pillow there you are seeing there in the background is one that I made a couple of years ago from a, a I think it was a Walmart pillow, yes. And I did this pretty much the same thing. I added a background fabric and ruffles to it, and that's what I came up with. And here's one of the pair of pillows completed. I think most of you know I have a pair of these French chairs that each pillow will sit on, as you will see later in the video. But since I wanted to sort of refresh these pillows and add a bit of fall color to go with my decor this year, I came up with a quick and easy idea that adds just the perfect touch of rich autumn tones to them without having to do any alterations to the pillow covers. So I went to Hobby Lobby and purchased a quarter yard of the two print fabrics that you see here on the chair and the neutral fabric I already had which matches the ruffle fabric on the pillows. Now I'm sure some of you may be wondering why I chose those two fabrics since they don't match the pillow covers at all. Well, I wanted a dose of warm rust color and a bit of autumn gold in the mix and if you look closely at the gold print fabric it has the blue in it which ties things together and creates a lot of visual interest and as you see that side of the room has my duck egg blue buffet right there along with all the fall decor to pull it all together for a cohesive look. So now my friends let's take a look at what I actually did with these fabrics. This is an easy thing to do and cost about eight dollars to do for both of the pillows. I just cut the fabric into strips and made rag bows for a fun fall touch. I pinned them on with large safety pins on the inside of the pillow covers for easy removal. Okay, so now let's pan around to the other side of the room so you can see what I did to the other chair and pillow vignette. And here you all can see that I added a rich rust colored throw to the chair and this really completes the look plus it adds richness to this side of the room as well as balance and some of you asked where I placed my topiaries that I showed you all last week well they're placed on each side of my sliding glass door which you see here and I'm purposely only showing you one of the topiaries in place because I don't want to show you guys too much right now as I'm working toward getting the living room ready for a tour for you all to see which will be coming soon All right, friends, let's switch gears for a moment and I will show you some of the things that I purchased at Ross and Hobby Lobby. The large basket was from Ross and it was $14.99. I purchased it to go by my fireplace where it will hold a cozy throw and a cute pillow. 
The chippy white architectural piece you see there is from Hobby Lobby, and I think it was $24.99 and then it was 50% uh, off. And that's gonna go over by my fireplace as well. The basket with the handle was 50% off at Hobby Lobby and the autumn potpourri was 40% off. And next up are these two white shutters that I purchased at the ReStore Habitat for Humanity. They were um, $10 for the pair, and I have an idea for these that are gonna go up on my mantel shelf for fall. So stay tuned for that. And then here I'm gonna show you my empty um, fireplace wall here. And I don't wanna show you what's on the mantel quite yet, but remember that white architectural piece that I showed you in the hall? It's going to be going in that space just below the um, fireplace mantel as you see there. Isn't that pretty? It doesn't match the color of the fireplace mantel, so I think I'll dry brush some of that um, color of paint that I put on the mantle to go with it. I'll be working on my mantle design for fall which I will show you all next week in a video so I hope you'll stop by to have a look and see what I'm doing. before I close out the video, I just want to say I'm so excited to be having this drawing and giveaway to celebrate my 5,000 subscribers milestone here on YouTube. I cannot wait to have the drawing and announce the winners on Sunday, and each of the three winners will receive a $50 Hobby Lobby gift card, and I'm so excited to be able to do that for you guys. So until then, you all have a nice weekend, stay safe, and I'll be back here on Sunday to announce the winners. Until then, bye-bye.